Hi, Paul here from Hell Team Trials Workshop. Just a real quick one today on changing the front fork spring in Tech 39mm trials forks. Um, doesn't matter if they're aluminium or steel staunch and trials forks, um, this, this sequence is the same for both. Um, first thing we want to do is get the bike solid on a bike stand. Um, we want to loosen the handlebars so we get clear access to that fork cap. Um, so get your handlebar clamps off. Um, and once you've done that, just try and lift the bike so the front wheel's just off the ground because we want to de-weight the fork leg. Next thing is we want to get this left hand fork cap off. They're not tight at all, it's really easy. Just undo that top clamp so there's no force on it from the triple clamp. Then there is a special tool made by Tech, which I'm showing you here, but really, who's got that? Simply, we can do this with a ring spanner, a 17 mil or a socket 17 mil. It's an odd shaped cap on the top, but a 17 mil fits nicely. So just swing your handlebars round to the left to give you some purchase. Um, pop your ring spanner on there. Hold it on with your fingers so you don't damage any of the anodizing. Um, and just give it a quick little loosen there. It comes off really easily. If you're worried about the anodizing, maybe just put a little tiny strip of electrical tape over it before you put the ring spanner on, but it will come off quite easily. A couple of turns like that and you'll see I can undo it with my fingers. Um, as long as you've got the wheel off the ground, nothing will happen. If you've got any force on that front wheel, this can spring off. So just remember to keep that front wheel off the deck. And this little um, preload cap will come off you can see the preload cone under there. I'll pull that out to show you. That's what winds down and adds more preload. Underneath that, there's the preload bush. And then directly under this, we have a washer that sits on top of the spring and the spring. You can lift that out with your finger. Um, now notice the orientation of the spring when it goes in. You'll see the tighter um, spring coils there are at the top. Um, and the looser ones are at the bottom because these are a progressively wound spring. Um, just a quick demo there to show you what's in there. The top one is the standard. The heavier weight one is the one at the bottom of the frame here that we're putting in this client's bike. You can see the progressive coils are a different length on both. Um, so that's an easy way to tell them apart. And there's lots of different spring rates for different rider weights available. Grab your new spring. Just slide that in, same way with the um, tighter coils at the top. Um, and then on top of that, we want to pop in the reverse order if we took them out, the washer. Um, so just make sure that's seated in properly on the fork, the fork um, spacer bush. Um, and then on top of that, we want the cone, uh, this little white plastic cone with the narrower part facing up. Just make sure that's seated in there properly so it's tucked right in. Um, you'll feel it when you've got it. Um, and then the cap, uh, it's, it's pretty easy, a nice broad thread, so it's easy to get that started. Just wind that on, and then we'll just give that a tiny little nip. If this doesn't need much tightening at all, it's virtually just a fraction more than finger tight. So wind your handlebars around to the right, so you've got some purchase in the opposing direction, and just that little nip, tiny, tiny there, that's more than enough. Um, now don't forget, you've got that triple clamp bolt to do up. Um, that's imperative, you don't forget that one. So make sure you do that triple clamp up, put your handlebars back on, and then um, you're good to go. Uh, it's really important that you get the spring rate right for your rider weight, especially for heavier riders. Um, it really makes a huge difference to the way the bike handles. Um, thanks very much for watching today. Um, that's a really simple task that anyone can do with just a few garage tools and see you in the next video.